Is she a pick me girl or a girl's girl? Did he kick rocks with open toed shoes in a Hawaiian shirt? From one of the most dramatic seasons of Love is Blind, I am here with Sarah Ann and Jeremy. Hello, you guys. How's it going, Frankie? It's going hey, really what's good. Going on? It's, it's, what an intro. What an intro. You know, I am I am one of your few loyal fans in the in the Love is Blind fandom. <laughs> I think that's why we're chatting today, because I'm like, you saw a clip that was in support of you and not one of people hating on you. Yeah, I did. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, I I, I, I I shared that quick. I shared that really quick. Yes, of course, of course. Well, I mean, I did I'm I meant everything that I said. I'm excited to talk about some of the things that um, we kind of already covered on our podcast, ask you guys some more questions about uh, where thing, things are at today. But I mean, I guess the first question is, it's it sounds so mean, but Sarah Ann, like, why do you think everyone, so many people don't like you? Like, what's the deal? What What is happening here? I don't know. It's really sad. I'm a pretty likable person. <laughs> I don't want to say everybody doesn't like me. A lot of people do like me. It's just, it seems that... Uh, you know, the way I was portrayed is, is not, um, the reality. So, yeah. You know. I mean, the funny thing is, is like, I, okay. So I'm trying to analyze people's main argument here. The main point, which seems to be that, you know, you invaded like an engaged couple, you, you know, you did something that we wouldn't do maybe in the normal real world under the real circumstance of engagement. But at the end of the day, you and Laura were dating and chatting with Jeremy for the same amount of time, um, oh yeah. So are people just like, do they just value marriage so much that they think it's like this sacred thing or what, what do we think happened here? I mean, honestly, I've seen so many different things all over the internet. A lot of people are like, you infiltrated a marriage. And I'm like, well, first of all, Jeremy was not married. Let's, let's start there. Yeah. Um, yes. And that is true. Jeremy was dating Laura the same amount of time in the pods as me. It was what maybe like, I would say like three or four days prior we broke up and then you decided to get engaged I think I think it was like two or three days two or three afterwards. days and so then I left and <laughs> and came back to Charlotte and they immediately fly them to the Dominican yeah. for um you know so they're they're on vacation I think seven days so I sent the direct message um the day that Jeremy was getting ready to arrive home. So let's, you know, a real timeline here is he was engaged for seven days. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he was hanging out with Laura, you know, essentially in person seven days longer than me. And then I sent the message. So, you know, a lot of people look at it as like, oh, they were together for three weeks after the pods and that's a total of six weeks. And that's just not the reality yeah. of it. Um, so, you know, the way that they chop it up and edit it, it's, it's fine. Um, I think, you know, we see on the reunion where I'm like, you know, I put out entertainment and things like that. But, you know, at the end of the day, like, at you know, it somewhat is for entertainment, you know. So we'll come back to that um, one. Don't I have thoughts on that too. I have, <laughs> I have thoughts on the the hosts and what they did to you. But we'll come back to that. So, yeah, <laughs> um, Jeremy. Like, I feel that what you guys both sort of did in this act was not so dissimilar to other people and from past seasons, like having the hangout, having the check in, really making sure switching options. But why did it, everyone seem to? dislike you guys doing it so much specifically i'm gonna give you my real opinion on this Please. and and i've had <laughs> i've had plenty of time and plenty of online scrutiny to go through this at this yeah. point in my head yes I, so we we did not intentionally meet in in person like that it's it was yeah. not a planned thing it was not intentional and i i hate to burst everybody's bubble but we did not cheat on anybody that night and i think now now that i spoke about it a little bit more it, the, the narrative has gone from, oh, they physically cheated to, oh, now it's emotional. And I just got to the point where it was like, all right, people are going to have this narrative in their head and, and they just want to believe it at this point. Yeah. And you'll notice that a lot of people were doing press. A lot of people were doing a lot of things as the show was, was airing and going on. You'll also notice that I was one of the few that wasn't really talking much because I wasn't able to, because if I poke a hole in that story early on, <laughs> there's no narrative. Like, yeah, it, it, it kind of is what it yeah. is. And, I'll, you know, also to be totally direct, um, if that wouldn't have happened between Laura and I, and, and obviously including Sarah in that, I don't think there would have been much of a story. Like, 
there, there really there wouldn't have been like yeah. you can clearly see on camera that she and I don't really see eye to eye in a lot of things. Yes. And looking back in retrospect, watching the show, I didn't realize how bad it was until I'm watching it back. And again, it's edited, so like I'm seeing what everybody else is seeing. Yeah. But I was also like, man, she, I, she, this girl did not like me. Like, <laughs> like this girl just didn't like me. And you know what? I, I'm not going to sit here and rag on her or anything. Like everybody's got their own thoughts and processes. Whatever, that's fine. But if that if that story between Sarah and I would have wouldn't have happened, I don't think it would have ever aired. Got it. Because there wasn't anything really interesting. Happening. <laughs> yeah, no like, fair. We, we we unintentionally made a villain arc without anything ever happening. Let's be fair. That night, I was pissed. Like I was angry that he was even in my general vicinity. Like you know, I was just like, "How dare you break up with?" Because you know, you can see early on where I'm in the pods, he breaks up with me and I'm just kind of like, mm, yep, yep. And everybody's like, but people said it online. They're like, she's so passive. And I was like, because I was, A, I was shocked. B, I was hurt. I really thought it was me. Yeah. So when I saw him, it wasn't this like, oh my God, I love you. Let me take you home and sleep with you. No, it was more like, go fuck yourself. Got <laughs> like, it. You literally broke my yeah. heart. So. And that's the thing. I thought this girl was going to swing on me. <laughs> yeah, no, like, the thing is, I want, I always feel the need to defend you when people bring you up in conversation. You're talked about at parties, I'm sure, all over North America and the world. But it's like, I, I just feel, why would you guys, like, why would you lie about this? Like, if you were fame whores, if you wanted the drama, then it would be the time to have revealed it by now. But I always right. find you very genuine when you say, like, no, we didn't hook up that night. Like, it's just... It's not what it is. I, I don't know. I whether I'm a good read on people or or whether I just think it makes sense. Like I always do yeah. defend you guys, so I do believe that. But let's then talk about Laura briefly. So I guess the unfortunate thing here is Jeremy. You're saying like the girl didn't like you. I felt mm. that. I see that. So <laughs> she's kind of jumping on this thing of like, oh, you did me so wrong. You did do me so dirty. We were engaged, but like, but if she didn't like you, I can't imagine how you know, how tied to this you would have felt if, if the chemistry just wasn't there. Yeah. And, and again, if, if, if I did hurt her feelings, I, I, I apologize for yes. that. Like I, I do genuinely apologize for that. And, and Sarah and I have talked about it openly that, you know, maybe things could have been done differently, but also now that it's gone on a little bit further since the show's come out, I, I don't know what could have yeah. been done differently. It's it's such a bubble that you're in, and it's such a weird experience where it's like it's not relatable at all to real life. Yeah, it's it's just not. But I, I do I do feel that she and I weren't. We I don't think we were going to go to the altar. I don't think that was going to happen. And what I did give her that night that Sarah and I met is I gave her her way out, and to be able to to give herself a positive light because sure. past I mean. I don't think anything else was going to come of that. So I did give her an out on that. And she told about the book in the Dominican. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, was, that was it. The book. So there was, <laughs> okay. So it, we, we go to the Dominican, right? And, and there we're, we're filming, Laura and I are filming the scene and that we're laying down in the bed and I pull out my journal and I, we were talking somehow the conversation of like, who was your number one came up and all that stuff. <laughs> and I was confidently saying like, Oh, you are my number one. You yeah. are my number one. And I pull my, it was the, it was our pod journals. I still got it. Um, I pull my pod journal out and I go to that page and it said Sarah Ann at the top. And I just went, Oh, oops. <laughs> oops. Well, that's awkward. And, 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 and I'm, and I'm not trying to laugh in the girl's face. No, I'm no, not no. trying to like be mean to her or anything like that. But I looking back at it and, and, you know, we're talking about over a year ago at this point. We did not see eye to eye. Yes. Could Sarah and I have done things a little differently? Sure. But it's not a real life scenario. It was crazy. And again, I don't think any of it would have ever aired if it didn't happen. <laughs> Absolutely. So, and I, I guess this closing the book on Laura then, like, I guess the question was yeah. um, the, the timeline of it. So was seeing Sarah Ann the impetus to end it with Laura? Was it already over before that happened? was like like what was just give me that timeline was it like you knew it was done but you you and laura hadn't talked about it and then you saw sarah ann or just unreal just give me the timeline give me the timeline of events no so and, and i think that got confused on on the show yes it, and because I've, I've seen that so many times too like oh he told sarah ann that night no that's not what happened yeah. so when sarah and i so yeah laura and i were on the rocks with a couple of things but like we were still trying through stuff now one thing that did continuously come up 
And it actually happened that same day, because the, the night I met uh, Sarah was the same day that I met Laura's parents. Sarah kept coming up in conversation. Mm. And in my mind, the night that she and I met, I'm like, you know what? We're going to talk. We're going to squash this. We're going to put it to bed. And I even told her that night after we had, like, we were staying out late. I was like, I'm going to get hell for this. But it, it, this, this, this conversation needed to happen. We needed to put an end to this. Like, we're going to be cool. Everything's fine. We never talked about being in a relationship with each other at that point. Now, where that gets confused is after that whole argument broke out between Laura and I, um, obviously we weren't really talking at that point. Mm -hmm. Like we hadn't seen each other in days. We hadn't really done much. We did have a, a dinner that we went to that wasn't, it was filmed, but it never made it into the show yeah. where we kind of had to work through some things. That's where the idea of the flowers came from, by the way, which I also got a ton of heat over. I was literally told to do that. God. And okay, that, that, that went, that went, that, went <laughs> that question was so coming, but okay. Like, okay. So the flowers that makes, that makes more sense now. I was, I, I was told to send her flowers by her and then I tried to do it and it backfired. And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. Okay. But anyways, so we go to that dinner, things continue to not go well from there. And now we're just not speaking at that point. So we're in a weird situation to where like, she's not talking to any of the women because of what happened. I'm still talking with the guys because, you know, we've got stuff going on, you know, whatever. But all the other guys that are currently filming, we're not really all talking about it in depth because they're out filming their own stuff. They're doing their own thing. Yeah. But now we're also under NDAs to where, like, I can't just go openly talk to my friends about this mm. in my real life because we're filming. There's stuff going on. So as things continue to deteriorate between Laura and I, that was when I was like, yeah, this isn't going to work. So then at a certain point, she, you know, Sarah and I started thinking like, you know, what is, do, do we do something like what, like what's going on here? Like, and all we had was each other to talk to mm -hmm. because she's not talking to the girls. I can't talk to anybody else. And the guys I can talk to are all out filming. Yeah, got it. So that by the time the lake day comes, Laura and I are actually broken up in real life at that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we had to film that for continuity purposes to show that like, oh, you're breaking up again. Yes. So that conversation already had happened it. and it didn't go well. So then, you know, Sarah and AD have that conversation, like, oh, he says he's breaking up with her and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, we're already broken up in real life. Got it. So, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was just it, the way it came across, because even I, when, when she said it, like, on, on, on the show, I, and we're watching it just like everybody else yeah, is, yeah. I looked at her and I'm like, why did you say that? <laughs> I was like, because that's not how that happened. And then we had to talk about it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, that was the timeline. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I mean, that's... But, yeah, no, that was... That was the thing is like the girls weren't talking to me after Laura shared the DM with everyone. So she like they cut me out of the group chat within we got back here or I got back here in late March. They got back like a week after after being on the honeymoon. Yeah. And by that point, she had already got her phone back and shared blasted me within the group chat. And then Jess immediately took me out. So it was like there was no like. Hey girl, can I chat with you? I just, I, you know, I, I, I want to tell you how I feel about this. You were part of the pod squad. Like none of that. It was genuine, like mob mentality. They, she blasted me, said what she said, and they followed their, their ringleader. <laughs> and that was it. Like, so, I mean, at that point it's like, what the hell do I do? I mean, like, I think that's what, you know, you asked the question, are you a girl's girl? Well, I'm a girl's girl to the people that are girl's girls to me. Of like. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and so I'm so you tired know. of hearing that. Phrase. Oh my god, me too. Throw that phrase out the freaking window. What the hell does that I didn't, mean? Well, it's anyway? funny. I didn't know what pick me girl meant. I had to ask like Lily, my producer. I I literally I was like, what is what is pick me girl? Anyways, I know what it is now. But <laughs> I don't I don't want to derail you at all. But can can we talk about the pick me girl thing if you if you don't have that brought up already? <laughs> I mean, well, what I have okay. Well, I think what I have in front of me is basically first. Sarah, was any of the okay. cast sort of secretly supporting you have you regained the like like a, a bestie in someone or are they really just all well it's so funny that you asked i'm really glad you asked so um last friday this is well after the reunion aired like that wednesday it aired i went out with one of my girlfriends of five years here in charlotte and i told her we were walking into sycamore brewing and there's a restaurant across the way and i said i have so much anxiety like i haven't been out since the reunion I walk in and Chelsea is sitting across from me at the bar. And I was like, motherfucker, like, are you kidding me? 
And um, I just kind of like look at my menu and I'm looking at my friend and we're just making like this random conversation because yeah. I'm like, I don't know what to do. She actually got up and walked over to me and apologized to me. Okay. She was like, I am, yeah, I mean, she was like, I am so sorry. I should never have come at you at the reunion the way I did. You are a girl's girl. You and I were really close in the pod days and I love you. And she stand, she stood there and talked for, you know, I was really standoffish at first because I'm like, how genuine is this? Sure. Um, you know, but then I finally told her, I was like, you know, I forgive you and, and I have no problem with anyone. I don't respect the way things were done necessarily, but you know, it's hindsight's 2020 and you guys did what you did and exiled me and that's it. So um, you know, I was really taken back by that. I appreciated it a lot, but you know, um, I reached out the next day and I just said, Hey, you know, I, I, that meant a lot to me that you came over and did apologize. Now I wish you would go, you know, on live television and, <laughs> and apologize, but you know, it's okay because I am not one that I have to go and run out and tell everybody about those things. You know, I can keep those personal near and dear to my heart and just understand that it was her trying to be the most genuine she could yeah. without having the others to tell her what to do. I've since heard though that she let Nora, Laura know about it um, through the great van here in Charlotte okay. and apparently Laura got really upset. I was like, ma'am, just, just which let is, it go. Yeah, which is crazy. Okay, but let's, uh, on the Chelsea subject, I have to say, so Chelsea sort of seemed to have this revert, or sorry, Chelsea had a different circumstance than you where I think the online world didn't love her. I, mm -hmm. I didn't love her. Again, I know reality TV. <laughs> I understand it's an edit, but like having been on reality shows, having interviewed reality stars, I think I can discern an edit from like a real person. Again, I think it's why the three of us are chatting yes. today. I did not love Chelsea, but it seemed that the girls loved Chelsea in the reunion. So are we missing something on the outside? Like, is Chelsea this wonderful angel? Or like, what is how? Or are the girls just a bit cuckoo bananas? Honestly, I don't think we could tell you because we we have not spoke to any of them in a year. Okay. I can tell you what I know about her in the pods when we were cool. Like, yeah. her and I really did hit it off. I thought she was really genuine and kind. And she, her and I have a lot of, like, similarities. We're both, like, very authentic and down to earth and just kind of say shit that comes to our brain. And I'm like, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's genuine, you know? Sure. Like, um. So I will say that I think out of all of the women, she and I probably, if anything, if we ever wanted to rekindle a friendship, it would be with her. Um, you know, I think that, I think the world is seeing her from a lens of like, I think what was the word used? Insecure and things like that. And, you know, let's be honest, we all have insecurities. But um, I, I also would like to say that I'm going to go ahead and point this out. I feel as if there where a lot of other people like Laura and AD and all the other girls who kind of like took Chelsea under their wing mm. because of Jess and that situation. So in order to make herself look better, I think they kind of like grab Chelsea. And then at the reunion, you hear Jess go, well, Aunt Chelsea. And I'm like, you are grooming her to make her on your side. So she doesn't come out and say like, nah, bitch, you did the same thing. Like, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I feel like yeah. they kind of groomed her for a year to be like, don't come at me. That's how I took that. So... I see what you're I saying. Think that she... Yeah. I yeah, mean, she's I like, know. she's going on perfect match. Like, I think they wanted Jessica to remain as this kind of perfect being. Uh, and that's what the edit does give her. So, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. that kind of, that figures out the, the Chelsea situation. Um, <laughs> I mean, we're kind of jumping all over the place, but I, I have, oh, I have so many questions. Okay. Um, Matthew, serial killer or not? What's the deal? <laughs> no. So we, I, we actually just hung out with Matthew last night. I saw, he, I saw the story. That's where the question came from. Yeah. <laughs> Matthew is one of the nicest human beings you will ever meet. Okay. Now, now when, when whatever creator you want to believe in, created that mold for that human being uh -huh. <laughs> it was broken afterwards like he, there there is not another matthew out there he so one thing that wasn't discussed until really after the show had aired is he he lives an alcohol-free lifestyle he comes from an extremely small town to which he was and, and i'm not i'm not trying to speak for him sure. but this is just what i know so like he comes from an extremely small town to where like he didn't want to be perceived in a certain way because everybody's going to know who he is he also never walked out on sarah no. Okay. <laughs> that didn't happen. Like, um, I mean, she can tell you more about that, but that, that didn't happen. I, yeah, that one did feel a little bit edity. Forced? 
which is fine. But but like, yeah. why didn't he go to the finale though? Uh, his words, I think, were like to it, be... it, it was it was related to his work. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was. I'll just leave it at that. It was related. It's to his tough. Work. It's tough when you get a bad edit and you don't defend yourself. Yeah. It is really tough. It, it, it allows us as viewers to finish that story for him and. It's yeah. not a great story. It's not. I can't. No. 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 Matt, and and it's and it is tough. But Matt, Matt really is. And and anybody again, I can't speak for the women, but anybody on the men's side of the cast will all tell you he, he's one of the like one of the nicest guys there. Is he? Is he a little socially awkward sometimes? He'll admit that. Like we talked yeah. about it last night. Yeah. He knows that. <laughs> like that's fine. But like you know, actually, when when he sat down and he asked me, he's like, well. He's like, do you have any questions about anything? And I was like, wait a minute, you're gonna let me ask you questions? <laughs> like, like, I, I, and there's so much stuff. So there's one, there's one edit in there to where like you, you see me. I think it's in like the second or third episode where I come over and like I'm sitting on his lap trying to just like mess with him. Okay, yeah, yeah. I was an antagonist to him the entire time because like I'm kind of over the top with a lot of things, and he is so reserved. Yes. So if you know the you know those little fro like little foam frother things? Yes. Like yes, yes. he'd be sleeping on one of the couches or trying to relax and I'd like sneak up behind him and start zapping him with the frother. Got it. And I I was just trying to get him out of his bubble. Okay. And like it it, it, it is funny though, because like as all of the show aired and you know, people I've never seen I'd actually never seen the show before I went on. Okay. So like I'd I'd known of it, I'd seen little clips, but I'd never sat down to watch it. So I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. I feel like this season got way more hate than anything I've ever heard before. Yeah, um, yeah. It, at least to me, that's what I... But again, I never paid attention to it, so maybe I'm just looking at it. About I would it. like to interject really quick, Frankie. I think it's one of those things, too, where when you're like, D why did Matt not show up? From our lens and perspective, and I think you could agree, when you get an edit that is, quote-unquote, the villain edit, yes. it is extremely difficult to pull yourself up out of your like you know you your mental health it. you start yes. to ask yourself yes. like question and and make yourself go back to the very same place where you were filmed and given this you know persona that may or may not be true and i think that you know it can get to people and and i think matt is strong and but i think that mm -hmm. you know what is really important to matt was the relationship you know aspect if it had worked out for him and his career and things in his life so it's like i think he branched out and he did a really brave thing and i think that people forget that that like reality tv is not for the weak and every single person that has ever done it deserves some type of like participation trophy no, i mean i i say on every podcast to every friend who's applying i'm like you better fucking know yourself and you better be prepared for the edit and you better not come back and complain after because I'm Bet. sorry, like, <laughs> you are consenting adults. Like, everyone is. Like, yes, people can fuck with you, but it's like, you, at the end of the day, it is mostly the words that we say. It is mostly the actions that we take. At the end of the day, you sent a text to him. Like, that's you. I agree with the text in this that's case. Me. But, like, you did that Great. action and how they made it seem is up to them. But it's like, yeah, reality right. TV is fucking hard. Why did he keep mentioning, though, being on TV in the pods? Like, he kept saying, like, this is going to be on national so, TV. Like, it was so <laughs> cringy. So we, we, he, we talked about it out in the lounge quite yeah. a bit. And he, he, would, he would literally be like, watch what you're saying. This is going on TV. Like, he, he, I can't tell you with 100% certainty, certainty, certainty about anybody. Sure. I can be damn near close with Matthew to be like, he was there for the right reasons because he was so anti-camera. Got it. Mm -hmm. He was, he, he, it was so anti-camera, so on, like, top of, like, watching his, you'll even notice, like, how we're all walking around with the chalices and the goblets yeah. and stuff. Matthew walked around with a coffee cup because he never wanted to be perceived drinking. Got it. Like, he was that level of, of not wanting to be seen that way. Okay. So if anybody was there for the right reasons, it was 99.9% .9 Matt. Okay. He is amongst the people in the world that are, like, I wish I could do the love is blind, love is blind experiment off camera. Got like it. if we could do okay, speed dating okay, okay. like off camera or in the pods outside in the real world, like yes. beautiful concept. Okay. Yeah. But then it has to be filmed and people don't want that filming aspect. <laughs> they just want to be able to date. Is like that, that a business so. yet? Is that a, are, should we create a business on like the, I think we should. Are we on to something? Yeah. Too? Like the love is blind outside. Of, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. we'll write that down for later. <laughs> okay. We're running out yeah. of time, but I have a few more important questions. Okay. Trevor, like, 
Mm-hmm. Ooh, is he a piece of shit or? <laughs> here, okay, so here, here's what I'll say about Trevor. I'm, 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 I'm friends with Trevor. Okay. Trevor is well aware that you know he screwed up in some ways. Like he, he, he's aware of that. And then there, I know there's all types of rumors, things like that out there about him. Like I, I don't get into that stuff sure. with him. So I, I don't know. Fine. Trevor as a person is one of those gentle giants. Like he is a nice person. Obviously I've never been in a relationship with him. I don't know what that aspect is like, but for, for just a personable human being, he's extremely nice. Okay. Like, mm-hmm. it, but that's the, the way thing, he was serious. perceived. He seems nice, so it's not like that's check check. But again, yeah. he goes to the reunion. He does his spiel. It was so horseshit. What happened there? Okay. Like that's. Okay, I understand on. he seems hold nice. I agree with you, but it really yeah. went off the rails at the reunion. And and I don't know if you saw the post that I I posted about that because I got I I got lit up on this one. Okay. So here's the thing about the reunion. Um, when you go to film, you have your phones taken away. We're, we're completely sequestered where we don't have any contact with the outside world. Yeah. All of that, all of those text messages started leaking, like, I think the night before we got to L.A. So when he walked on stage, he did not know what he was walking into. Yeah. And the very first thing he said when they said, and this isn't shown, but the very first thing he said when he sat down um, and they said they were going to bring up these text messages, he says, I mentally can't handle this right now. I want to leave. So then there was this spiel about like, well, while we care about everybody's mental health, we also believe in keeping everybody accountable, ripped into them. And then that's when you hear, now you can leave. They, the whole first part of that was missing with him saying he wanted to leave okay. until he got ripped into it. I mean, to be fair, you know, to your point, Frankie, it is disrespectful, right? Like, you know, to blatantly be telling someone after you know you've been accepted onto a television show to find love that you, you know, are still going to come back and be with someone else regardless. You know, it is disrespectful to everyone else that is going there for the right reasons. So I will say that as far as Trevor, you know, being human and possibly have not known how to navigate that much like everyone else, because we've never, we're not in the entertainment industry. Mm. Like we don't know, you know, and I think I remember going into it being like, I ain't meeting nobody in here. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, you know, it's it. just, you don't know what to expect. And then you don't expect to build a connection through a wall. And then it kind of happens and you're like, holy shit, this could, this could actually work. Um, so I think he made a, a, a mistake and it's human to do so. But I think that everyone was navigating it the best that they could knowing what they knew at the time. And then coming out on the other end, I can tell you, I know a lot more what it's about yeah, yeah. <laughs> obviously of course um but yeah i think ultimately you know not the not his proudest moment i think he would probably agree with that he, and he should have um, said what you just said he should have just said i wanted to have a fucking great time on this fucking weird show let's see what happens but instead he tried to defend it and oh i'm not looking for an entertainment career oh i'm not this like well unfortunately yeah. his response made him look way worse so so I, I was, I, I mean, you can see it. I'm sitting right next to him as this is all happening. <laughs> this is a, this is a 280 pound man who, who was trembling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, yeah like yeah. he, he was, he, I have to believe that he knows where, what was right and wrong at this point. Yeah. Like he gets it, yeah. but I know how I was feeling in that situation. And I wasn't even him. I didn't even know what I didn't, I couldn't even think of something that he could say in that situation. So it was, I, I, that, that'll, myself. That'll, be a, that'll be something for Trevor to answer at some point. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say for myself, I went to the experiment. It worked, but I still forgive him for that because, you know, like he, everybody was just doing the best that they could. And I think that, you know, we should all give people grace in <laughs> my projecting because I sent a message. I know, I'm, like, I'm like, Sarah Ann, we're not, I don't know. This is, this is not Trevor's trial. This is not Trevor's trial. People are going to think what he want, what they want, but thank you. That is helpful. Okay. I need fast, I need fast answers to these ones. Okay. We'll start with okay. quick, quick answers. What do you think of Vanessa and Nick as hosts? Um, I, I could take it or leave it. We, you see him twice. I think that. Reunion host, me- as reunion host then, as the reunion host, how do they do that role in your opinion? Uh, I think it's hypocritical for someone to say this isn't for entertainment and then Netflix come right behind you and post about the ratings. That's, that's, that's how I feel about that. Fair, fair. I think, um, I'll be quick. Um, you know, 
it's easy to get mad at people asking the questions. Um, but at the end of the day, they're hired by the network. And I think that, you know, they, they have to ask the questions that are given to them. Yeah. So at the end of the day, they're doing what they're, they're there to do. Um, whether or not they agree or not, that's probably not up to them. <laughs> so um, it's easy to be like, you know, I can't believe this person put me in the hot seat. But, you know, you got to understand where it's really coming from, you know? Yeah, I just think the entertainment question obviously is a, is a big one um, for you, Sarah. But like, I thought, again, I thought you gave a really, really good answer. And I, Thanks, yeah, like at the end of the day, you were someone going through a really fucking tough time as the world is <laughs> shit talking you. So yeah, you're going to post a story or two, say things like, this is a television show, there's entertainment. Like, I don't know. I feel like yeah. I fully understood where you were where you were going there. Anything you want to add on, on that one? Or do you feel like you've clarified? Yeah, I mean, everybody on the cast was doing their own form of entertainment, right? When you're in this limelight like that, like, why not? Like, yeah. try to be funny and a little self-deprecating yeah. at times. Make light of a, of a really tough situation, you know? So, um, you know, I said it once. I'll say it again. Like, the experiment works. You know, I believe in love is blind. I think love can be blind mm -hmm. in, in certain situations. But I do, at the end of the day, I believe there's an entertainment aspect to it. And, and everybody would be a little crazy to not think that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Absolutely. But I think, yeah. Where are you guys? So where are you at today? So dating, living together, anything else? Yep, this is our house. Um, no, uh, press keeps asking us about marriage. And we're just kind of like, we're taking our time and living. We're, we're uh, big into the jet skis, outdoors, hiking, breweries. <laughs> normal life things <laughs> i actually own a jet ski like people think i'm just knocking people all the time no i have my own jet ski. oh got it okay okay what was yesterday we live by what was week. instagram yeah. i missed it i apologize what was instagram live announcement yesterday oh yeah yeah, yeah. so we have been sick in charlotte it goes from like 40 to 70 in a day and we were going to do an instagram live um q a and we still plan on rescheduling it but him and i we were just uh oh i'm losing um but him and i we were just both feeling under the weather and you know we were kind of like well let's do this when we have more energy you can probably hear it i'm a little nasally still okay. but um but wait, what, we're gonna reschedule it we want to be the, able to talk to people was there an announcement though in it or no um we were talking about there being a surprise in there but it was really just there'll, there'll be a surprise with it Nothing be crazy. We're yeah. not no, I'm just saying, if you're gonna, if I'm gonna spend all this time with you right now, and then there's a huge fucking surprise tomorrow that I'm not being told right now, I'll no. be pissed. <laughs> nothing <laughs> insane. Nothing insane. Yeah, okay. oh, fine, nothing fine. Like a baby announcement. I trust you. Yeah. No, as long as it's not, as long as it's not that, I'll, I'll, no, I'll leave no, it no. to your Instagram. You're like you assholes better tell. Yeah, me literally. Something like that. <laughs> okay yeah, nothing nothing too outlandish that is that is all we have time for uh you two i again i loved you on the show i think you seem lovely lovely Thanks. lovely in person if you're ever in toronto come say hi if i'm ever where is it north carolina charlotte, charlotte? yeah charlotte. charlotte okay i might i might host miss south carolina miss north carolina anyways well I'll DM you about that. I'll DM you about that. If okay. you do, I want to go. Okay, I'm in the pageant I'm world. I'm in the pageant world. We're gonna we're gonna figure <gasps> that out later. I'll I'll text you. I'll text you. All, All right, right, cool. Well, we appreciate you. Mwah.